Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I have a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to use the folding tool inside clothes. You know, like you would fold a normal outfit or garment and take photos of it from, from the top, usually as a flat lay. Um, is it flat lay that it's called? think so you know use for websites and things like that so maybe you're making images for your website or for Instagram and you want to have the garment on its own without the avatar and just fold it like you would in normal life you can do that in Clo. I'm going to show you how to use that tool it is pretty cool and it's very very simple as well it might take a bit of time and adjusting but it's a very useful tool within Clo. before we start the video please let me know if you like this type of video subscribe to the channel and comment down below what do you want to see next I'm gonna jump to my clothes and I'm gonna show you how to use the folding tool okay so here I have my clothes open with just a normal shirt top thing <laughs> I would recommend first of all saving your top as a garment okay and just giving it a name and opening that garment instead of your project to start working on the folding. You don't want to work through your whole project, save it, and then later on you want to open on the avatar and your garment is fully folded. First things first, your folding tool is located on the 3D window and it's this one here, literally looks like a shirt folded. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my 3D open. I'm gonna close the 2D. All the rest of it you can close, you're not really gonna be using any of it. So I'm just gonna click on that shirt and this is the window that pops up for you. This here to just locate the shirt on the floor. Okay, obviously it's not really the right position now, but this here is the rotation. You just rotate it and make sure your shirt is on the floor the way you want it. Okay, let me see. I'm going to be folding obviously towards the back. So I have the front lined up for the photo. So literally this here just brings everything to the floor and this here just rotates the piece around. And then here you have your resolution where you can obviously bring the resolution up a little bit. And then here you have two different settings. This one here, is just to spread. It's called physical property for spreading. You know, just makes it a little bit stiff and easier to spread around. Um, and then you just simulate, okay? You can see it just kind of makes it stiff, okay? And then spreads a little bit. Let it simulate for a second. Stop when you think is enough. And then after that, we're going to, instead of selecting this one, you're going to select this one, which is set physical property for folding. Okay, so just leave that on. And then here we have the folding tool. So this first one folds the piece as a whole. And this one here selects each pattern that you want to be folding. So before you start using the fold tool, you need to simulate a little bit so your piece kind of like falls, okay? But make sure you have the folding physical properties on and just simulate so it's going to fall, okay? Nicely to the floor. And then now we're going to start using our folding tool. So first I'm going to select the fold tool that takes in consideration the whole thing. And you just select outside the piece, okay? Where you want your folding line to be. Double click. And then you're going to be moving the gizmo that way. Okay, make sure you don't go, don't pass the line. And simulate. So it just falls, okay? There we go. Now I need to bring my sleeve up. You're going to select the fold to selection. Okay, the one that does each pattern. Just click on the sleeve, click enter, and I'll do your folding. Okay, I'm gonna do it up here a little bit. I'm not gonna go so far up. And simulate, there we go. Do the other side. Try to just be mindful of what you did in one side and the other side so you can see now this side is bigger than this if i simulate oh it looks okay but it could have went wrong you know it could have looked kind of sideways but it didn't um so just make sure to take that in consideration where you're actually folding everything oh god where did that go okay there 
and then now we're just going to fold basically halfway through with the selection with the folding tool that folds everything and not just a selection pattern uh, around here maybe and then we'll just bring everything in as close as possible before you know folds itself simulate that's it simulate it and then i'm just going to literally flip it around you can see my sleeves didn't really work well so i can bring it in and stop the simulation when i think it looks it looks better you can still move it around make sure it looks the way you want it you can add some pins if you like that's the main idea of the folding tool okay you just need to know this flips around this brings everything to the floor this plays with your resolution this one just makes it spread around a little bit just to help you out this one just keeps everything with the higher resolution to fold and then this one folds taking consideration the whole piece and this one takes in consideration each pattern that you select that's that's all it is to it <laughs> it is very very simple once you get the hang of it i'm gonna show you an example now of a final piece that i made for a client i think it looks pretty cool and i think you can see how you can use this feature to make very interesting render images for your clients so here's the image that i made for one of my clients using the folding tool literally just fold a hoodie and put it on top of a chair and this is how it looks like and also made this image as well just using the chair as a prop so you can have like a couple different images, one with the garment folded and one with the garment not folded on top of something. So it just brings a little bit more to your project and to your final images. So that's it, very, very simple. I hope you could understand the process. I would love to see your projects. So tag me on Instagram and I'll go give it a like if you use this video as a resource material, as a learning material. Um, I'm here just to help you guys learn Clow, and I know the journey can be very hard. Um, so if you have any questions, you can DM me, you can put it in the comments, and I'll try to reach out to everyone. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below what you want to see in the next one, and subscribe to the channel. Also, go follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more content on Clow 3D, fashion, digital fashion everything that is happening in the industry right now. Um, I'm always updating you guys and you can have a closer look to my personal life as well. I post um, outfits of the day, things that I eat, places that I go. So if you want to know a little bit more about me, you can go follow me there and we'll keep in touch. Okay, goodbye.